My name is Vered Kaplan. I'm the CEO for Genesis, which is a US company. My background is engineering. I've been an entrepreneur many years, and I have the honor of working with some of the cleverest people in the biotech industry in putting together a Genesis, which we hope will become a pillar in the regenerative therapy area. We have been around for four years. In the past four years, we have done our best to promote a wonderful therapeutic program targeting diabetes. This is based on the groundbreaking work of Professor Sal Ferber, licensed out of Israel. I could call it the CAR T of diabetes, okay? It actually implements an epigenetic modification of adult cells in order to provide a source of insulin producing glucose sensitive cells. We found out something very interesting. A lot of science, a lot of wonderful science in this industry that has over the past decade matured incredibly. But there is a missing link and that is the industrialization of these therapies. This is something that we as a company have taken on to provide a solution for. And we are doing this through our fully owned subsidiary, Mastercell, which is a great company out of Belgium that has now done partnerships all over the world in an attempt to provide a source, a reliable source, a partner to make sure these great therapies, just as our own, can reach the market in a way that they are affordable for patients and they are manufacturable in a clinical setting. So my name is uh, Sarah Ferber, Professor Sarah Ferber. I'm, um, I have a research group. I am the chief scientist officer and founder of Orgenesis. So in Israel, I've established my own lab. And uh, the idea was that I'm going to generate a surrogate beta cell. A surrogate cell that will produce insulin and secrete it in a glucose regulated manner. And I was thinking, what will be the most logical way to do that? And to me, the most logical way to do that is to analyze whether whatever we know on pancreas organogenesis in the embryo can be adapted for adult cells. What will happen if I take the factors that control pancreas in the uh, embryogenic development and put the same factors artificially in an adult tissue? Will that persuade this adult tissue to change its phenotype and function? And the answer was yes. And we were the first people to show, the first group to show, that you can activate in vivo pancreatic function, insulin production, insulin processing, and glucose-regulated secretion in a mouse liver, just by artificially uh, expressing PDX1, which is the factor that controls pancreas organogenesis in the embryo. So we really opened a new era in cell replacement therapy. It's not only that you're using stem cells, you could use adult cells. And if you're using adult cells, you could generate autologous tissues because then, the, for instance, the diabetic patient could be the donor of his own therapeutic tissue. And by that, you overcome uh, the rejection uh, problem. When you learn how to manufacture a product in the engineering world, the first thing you need is specifications. You need to characterize a product. So this is very simple to think about when you're thinking about a simple product like a pen, a book, or just you know a shoe. But even when you're dealing with living products, even when you're dealing with cells, the first step is to really characterize that product. Okay? And that's why, as a company, with our work, with Masters, we put such focus on the QC department. It makes us very unique as a company because we really want to define that product every step of the way. And that is the basis of good manufacturing. It's such an exciting time now. I mean, everybody's excited about these wonderful car teas that have been approved. Uh, and just to think that this will be saving patients' lives is very exciting.